Hi everybody, my name is David Muscadanius. Today I was going to tell a story about uh, my creativity journey, I guess, so to speak. I'd like to start out with this quote from uh, uh, Inferno. This is the uh, first line of Inferno. Dante wrote this about the same time. He was uh, the same age as me right now. I think it's about appropriate, so I think it's kind of a nice quote. This doesn't seem to be audio advancing, even though it was. Let me make sure it's. Does it? Oh, okay. Let's see. Sorry, I messed up the system. <laughs> so, throughout this talk, uh, we'll probably discuss some uh, talk of visions and intuition and these sorts of things and so that's kind of what to expect so some background about me i grew up with uh my dad is a carpenter so i always grew up building things i used to build race cars i built things in the machine shop all the time i built a lot of stuff that kind of culminated i'd say with my phd work where we were building small helicopters to deliver power to sensor nodes wirelessly um that was 10 years ago I lived in San Diego for graduate school. I started building surfboards for fun, and I'd go surfing and this sort of thing. Um, I'd say around this point in time, one thing I started doing that I hadn't done prior was talk to other people about my ideas, which was kind of new. I also kind of one day just had a vision that I should swim three miles uh, from La Jolla Cove to Scripps Pier and do a flip turn off the pier and swim back. And so. Um, I, uh, I thought that'd be kind of fun, so I tried it out. So there's an inspiration by vision. Um, about the same time, I met a person who uh, kind of inspired me to actually take uh, uh, life into my own hands. So I kind of floated through life to this point. I was about 26 at the time. I ended up coming to Los Alamos as a postdoc. Um, I visited Korea as part of that time for a month and a half. And I was introduced to another person that made me rethink some things. I also learned about uh, Carl Jung's thinking on various things. Uh, and that kind of had some impact. Uh, you know, I kept being a postdoc. I uh, traveled to Berlin as part of that for a conference. Well, actually, I was at Dresden, but we went to Berlin for the weekend. And I saw these guys. This is at the uh, East Side Gallery. And, um, you know, I started to think about... Uh, so... This story doesn't make sense because uh, uh, it's very complicated, but I started thinking about how you needed to not always just work hard, you also needed to take some time for reflection. Um, during the time I was a postdoc, I was at a party and I ran into another person who uh, they had an interest in aerial silks. I didn't know what that was at the time, but this is a picture of a person in Madrid doing aerial silks. So at the time, I lived at a house that I had a garage. I had a, basically a little machine shop in my garage, so I was welding and doing what I used to do. Uh, I also had a garden. Sometimes I would plant like uh, carrots and stuff. But I was still kind of doing what I used to do. Uh, and then one day I had another vision. I woke up with another vision that uh, told me I should learn how to be an acrobat. So I thought back to my friend <laughs> who uh, did aerial silks, and so uh, and it ended up that I started trying to do that. And so here you can see uh, me, this is a little bit later, but this is doing something called a crochet climb. One thing that's kind of interesting about circus arts is that um, you start some of these things and they seem impossible, but if you keep showing up, you can actually do them. Uh, some things take more than a few months, but uh, I, then later I learned about partner acrobatics and I liked that, so we started practicing. This is my friend Danielle, so she and I would practice a lot of partner ac acrobatics together. Um, one thing, I've tried many things, but I'd say partner acrobatics is my favorite thing that I've ever tried. And the main reason for that is I like the cooperation between people. So like I'd go surfing in San Diego, but you're always kind of alone. And that's kind of boring for me, I like other people. And so I kept practicing with different people. Uh, this was another show that I did last year. Uh, this is Annie, she's a gymnastics teacher in Santa Fe. Uh, you know, we keep practicing our partner acrobatics. Uh, this is another picture, this is Danielle. Uh, so this is, this is actually, a, we'll get to this later, but this is an example of like a, 
my real goal one day is to get to tandem surfing, and so we're practicing tandem surfing. It's hard to do that in New Mexico, but I think there's ways. <laughs> you could do it on the Rio Grande with a stand-up paddle board, I'm pretty sure. Um, another thing I started learning to do was partner aerials. So this is uh, partner aerials on the fabric. Another thing that I kind of like to do, so I like getting more artistic with these kinds of things. Um, so I've started to learn how to write poetry. I like just chopping up newspapers and making them into poems. <laughs> so here's an example of something I did earlier this month. Um, but like I said, my real goal is to start combining the surfing that I used to like to do with the acrobatics. And so uh, one day I will do that. It's only a matter of time and getting all the stars to align at the right point. And so I thought I'd finish off with uh, more Dante. Dante always did everything in kind of cycles, if you know anything about the Divine Comedy. But this is the final sentence of uh, Purgatorio. And so, uh, you know, I'm not sure that I've made it to any kind of heaven yet, and there's a lot of problems that need to be dealt with, but uh, we're getting more creative, I'd like to believe. So that's the end of my story. Thank you. Thank you.